right, I want to talk about some word problems, logic problems that deal with fractions. So here's one initial problem to look at. The gasoline gauge on a van initially read 1 8 full. When 10 gallons were added, the gauge read 3 fourths full. How many more gallons are needed to fill the tank? I'm going to draw a picture to help us see what's going on. The first thing I can do before I start figuring out these fractions is get them to both be the same denominator. So I've got 1 8 and 3 fourths. 3 fourths I can change to be 6 eighths. I got that by saying 4 needs to become 8. I do that by multiplying by 2. So I multiply both the numerator and denominator to get to 6 eighths. Now, my tank is broken into eighths. We had an eighth, we filled it up to six eighths. So I'm going to represent that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Imagine taking our tank full of gas and splitting it into eight pieces. It initially was one eighth full, so it was right here. Then we managed to get it to six eighths full. Three fourths, remember, is the same thing as six eighths. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So then it was right here. This was 10 gallons. Told me in the problem that 10 gallons were added to get from our initial line to this line. Well, I need to distribute that evenly. That's one, two, three, four, five. Five of my eights, or five of the circles. So that means each of them gets two, because there are 10 gallons to put in five groups. Now, fractions split something evenly. That's a big deal with fractions. It has to be evenly. So if each one of these is 2, that must mean all of them are 2. This would get me full. Full is everything. So that would put me up for 2 to 4. So 4 gallons are needed to make the tank full. Now let me look at another problem that also involves fractions. In this problem, we ask somebody, it says, we say, how many cats do you have? And they answer back with a riddle. They say, five sixths of my cats plus seven. So now we need to figure out how many cats do they have? I'm going to work this two different ways. The first one is the picture that I just used for the gasoline. So now I'm dealing with five six. So I'm going to take my cats and break them into six groups. Now five of those plus seven equals the whole amount. So this guy has to be the seventh. So if this one is seven, all of them have to be seven. The reason I know that this one had to be seven is because it said five sixths of my class cats plus seven is the whole amount. All of them together are the whole. So there's my five sixths. And so this last little 6 has to be 7, because that was the part that was added on. So that means I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 42 cats, only one like Another way to work this same problem is to think about it algebraically, so to make an equation. So I could say 5, 6 of my cats plus 7 has to be equal to my number of cats. And use x there to represent my cats, the thing I don't know. I'm going to solve this for x, so I'm going to subtract 5, 6, x minus 5, 6, x is 1, 6, x. There's an invisible 1 there, that's 1, x. Minus 5, 6 gives me 1, 6. I need to still solve for x, so 
So I will divide everything by one six. Put that in parentheses when I'm typing in my calculator. And this is also going to give me 42 cats. Either way works if you're a visual person or an algebraic person.